Hey guys, it's Brooke. Um, I'm here with our July um, BLT yoga workout. I thought I'd come up with kind of more of a stretch to go with our butt legs and thighs workouts because I know after those I'm really sore, I'm ready to stretch out, and I thought you guys might be too. Um, notice the new decor. I'm all moved into my new place, sort of. The pile of stuff you see behind me goes in my classroom, so it'll be gone in about a month. Um, but one of the nice things about my new place is that I have an office and workout room. So that's where we're at. Hopefully it'll get decorated and we'll get rid of the boxes soon, but I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, so just a side note, one of the things that we're working on, especially with this stretch workout, is flexibility. Um, so check out my blog post for this month on range of motion and flexibility. We'll be going through just different benefits of yoga each month, and that's what we're focusing on this month. Um, so let's get started with our workout. Okay. Um, first thing, if you're not already warmed up, you want to make sure that you're doing a sun salutation or a few. Um, again, look back at the videos or the blog posts if you're not sure how to do those, or if you're just not feeling really comfortable with it. You can always do, um, you know, walk for five minutes, do some sort of Metcon to warm your body up. You just want to make sure that you're not stretching a cold muscle. So if you're not comfortable warming up with a sun salutation, you know, whatever warm up works for you is great. The first thing that we're going to do to really focus on getting our booty and leg area warmed up is a dynamic warrior one. So what we're going to do Again, sorry if my head gets cut off. I'm still playing with camera angles here. We're going to find our warrior one position. So our back foot is at an angle. Front foot facing the front of the mat. And our arms are up by our ears. Let me give you a little better view here. Let's see if that works. There we go. That's a little better. So arms are up by the ears. Our hips are squared forward. And our feet are kind of on two different tracks. Okay, I'm gazing over my shoulder so I can talk to you, but your gaze is forward. So from here, on the inhale, we're going to straighten the front leg. And we're going to get some goalpost arms. They're going to look like this. And on the exhale, we bend the front leg and straighten the arms. So we're just going to work through that five to ten times on the inhale and the exhale. And then switch sides. Next thing that we want to do is a dynamic warrior two. Notice that all of this dynamic movement is really warming up the hip area, the leg area, which is what we're going to focus on. So for a dynamic warrior two, again, front foot's forward, back foot's at an angle, front knee is bent, not tracking out over the toes. This time we're rotating the hips to the side and our arms are out parallel to the ground. Again, we're going to move. So on the inhale, we're going to flip the palms up. We're going to straighten the front leg, <coughs> excuse me, and touch the palms overhead and exhale back into our traditional warrior two. So inhale and exhale. And again, five to 10 reps of that on each side. So once we're nice and warm in our area of focus, the first thing that we want to do is a low runner's lunge stretch. So we're going to take our front foot, we're going to gently bend the back knee until it's on the ground. And then we're going to really push our weight into this front heel. It's okay if the knee comes out a little bit over the ankle here because we have a lot of stabilization on the ground. We're really trying if you can see it from this way, we're really trying to open up the back hip. That's what's going on here. It's going to require some stabilization from the hamstrings and the glutes. We can really open up this back hip, and then we want to do it to the opposite side. Again, you don't want to rest your hands on the knee. If you check out my hands, they're back on my thigh. Nothing bad happening to the knees here. So this is really going to open up the hips which are going to get really tight with all the squats and lunges that we're doing. Next thing we want to do is a yogic squat. So a traditional yogic squat, we want a nice wide stance. We're just going to kind of bring hands to heart center 
and we're going to start coming down here. So two ways that you can do this. If you feel comfortable, this is a little bit more advanced version. If you feel comfortable, you can come kind of all the way down to where your bottom is below your knees. Elbows pushing the inside of the thighs. If that's not comfortable for you, and it's not for most people because they have really tight hips, you can go down as far as you can and kind of use the hands or the elbows to push into the inner thighs. It's gonna get a really nice stretch right through the inside of the leg and engage the core here. We don't want to be slumped over. Engage the core, roll the shoulders down the back. Nice stabilization. So you just want to be there for five or ten breaths and you can sort of come in and out of the stretch as you like. The next thing that we want to do, and this leads right into it, is our wide-legged forward fold. So we already have that nice wide base. Notice that our toes were pointed slightly out. Now for our forward fold, our toes are going to face forward and even sort of pigeon toe in just a tad. We want to take the hands to the hips, get a nice tall spine, and we want to hinge over. So if you see me from the side, notice that I'm hinging at the waist and my shoulders aren't hunching over. So we're going to hinge over. And once we get about as far as we think we're going to go, we can try to release the hands to the ground if they'll go there. If they won't, hands on the thighs, or you can get like a shoe box. A shoe box is great to have when your hands don't reach the ground because it'll give you that extra support. And we're going to twist here just to incorporate a little bit more of a stretch. So we want to bend the knees slightly. I'm going to take, this is my left hand, so it probably looks like your right. I'm going to place it under my face or use a fist and I'm going to use that as leverage to twist open to my right. So left hand in the center, twisting open to the right. Knees are still slightly bent or you can extend the right arm up when you're twisting to the right. If that doesn't feel good, take it to the hip or the thigh. Now I'm going to come back to the center. Maybe take a second to just kind of pop up and refocus. Hinge back over. Now we're going to the other side. So right hand in the center, twisting to the left or opening fully to the left. Whatever feels good to you. Always remember, return to center. Engage the core. Take the hands back to the hips and hinge back up. Completely opposite of the way you came down. The last thing that we're going to do standing is a standing figure four stretch. So it's going to multitask. It's going to work on balance and we're going to get a nice stretch through the hips. So finding your balance foot, you're going to bend those knees, just a nice athletic bend, and I'm going to cross the opposite leg over the thigh. Okay, if you see the other way, there's the four. That's why it's called our standing figure four. And as you bend, so right now my right leg is my supporting leg, my left leg is crossed. I'm really pushing that left knee toward the ground. And it's kind of hard to tell here, but you'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to feel a difference in the hip and in the glute. And if you really want to challenge yourself here, you can bring your arms overhead and really challenge your balance. Okay, so a side view here, maybe I should go to this side. Notice how my knee isn't just hanging up here, it's not relaxed. It's really kind of pushing down toward the ground. And you want to do that on both sides. So the last stretch we're going to do, and we're going to come down to the mat for this, it's called Janu Shir Shasana A. And you don't have to say all that, it's going to say Janu A on your workout. And the Janu Shirshasana poses are a series of stretches, one leg stretches, um, and there's different variations on them. One of the variations even includes like tucking your toes under your body and it really hurts. Um, so we're not doing that. But Janu A is a really nice pose because there's a lot of variations depending on how you do it. So if you sit with legs out in front of you, feet toes kind of pointed up toward the ceiling. I'm going to extend my left leg. I'm going to take it 
computer died. I'm going to take it um, slightly out toward the corner of the mat, and I'm going to tuck my right leg in to wherever is comfortable. I'm going to rotate my torso slightly to face the leg that's stretched out. I'm going to draw up nice and tall, and on the exhale, I'm just going to hinge over, and you're reaching for whatever you can get. If you can get to your calf, find a place for your hands to rest there. If it's the ankle, if it's the foot, wherever your hands rest, let them rest there. And the nice thing about this pose is that you can vary the hand movements to stretch different parts of the body. You can crisscross your grip, and that gets more into the shoulders. You can sort of open your chest toward the leg that's bent and stretch over the body, and that gets the hamstring and the side body. There's a bunch of different things that you can do here to really make this stretch your own and to make it a multitasker. So you want to make sure you hold the stretch on each side for five to ten breaths. And you can go through this as many rounds as you'd like, or as many rounds as you can get in 20 minutes, just like our typical Beyond Fit workouts. Just remember at the end, just find a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Take about 30 seconds just to have some alone time. Just focus on your goals, your accomplishments, your flexibility, whatever you want to focus on in that 30 seconds that's going to sort of balance you out and really um, help you reap the benefits of your yoga practice. So again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact Kate or I. Um, I hope you enjoy this workout, and I'll see you guys in August with a new one. Bye.